According to Albert Einstein, education is what remains after one has forgotten what one has learned in school. Based on my memory and my age, I consider myself to be very well educated indeed. My name is Chris Levy, and I'm a graduate student in the MBA program at Sacred Heart University. I'm pretty sure Dr. Einstein wasn't trying to disparage traditional education, but instead I think he was trying to say that ultimately the things we learn are less important than the impact that they have on our lives. The true education is how you apply what you know rather than just those things that you know. Maybe that's why so many students just try to get through their education in order to get to the real world and then discover that the most important things they learned were the skills and behaviors, critical thinking and reasoning. I kind of did things backwards. I had a formal education in philosophy and theology. But ultimately, I wound up looking into an entirely different career path. Armed with a little bit of intelligence and a confidence that I could learn anything, I gradually found my way into using technology to support business. I worked in all different industries, from healthcare to nonprofit, from direct marketing to corporate training. I was in franchising and retail and even financial services. I learned by doing, and I got to be pretty good at it. But eventually, I reached a point where I wanted to shore up the foundations. I uh, needed a formal understanding of concepts that I used and learned by intuition so that I could really understand them better. I understood instinctively that some things made business sense, but I enrolled in the MBA program because I wanted to understand more about why they made business sense. And eventually, I wanted that education to help open up career paths for me in the future especially at my current employer. Along the way, I found it's been a great journey. I've had a number of really interesting classes from which I've taken some great practical knowledge. One of them might be an example would be strategy. We covered this in both the information systems class as well as in dynamic business management classes. I thought I understood strategy before, but now I have a much better understanding of how to define it and how it applies to different types of businesses. Also, Porter's Five Forces, which were covered in the same classes, help give a better sense of how a business needs to look at the forces surrounding it, competitive forces surrounding that particular business and the pressures that they exist. I found out in my accounting class that accounting is really not as scary as I might have thought it would be. I also found out in my corporate financial management class that it was probably more complex than I thought it would be, but it was still manageable. And the concepts that I learned in there helped me to understand the financial aspects of any business a little bit more. There was also a great class on fundamental business law, and those concepts were covered in the social and legal responsibilities in business class. Now, along the way, I hope that I might learn a few other things. So, for instance, I'm still interested in learning more about marketing or about personnel management. Um, I can take those classes later on in the program and plan to. But some of the marketing information was already covered in our dynamic business management classes. But now I'd like to go more in depth, especially regarding digital marketing, marketing and service marketing. As far as personnel management, I'd love to be able to come out of it knowing that I can always make the perfect hire every time. But that's probably not practical. It's not a precise science. But if I have a few more tools in the tool belt, hopefully I can make better hires each time. If there were anything that I might recommend to the MBA program, it would be two things. One is that it might be helpful if there were more consistency around the way the faculty used a tool set that's provided, specifically Blackboard and some of the tools within it like SafeAssign. In some classes, we find that everything needs to be submitted online. In other classes, everything needs to be printed out and handed in to the professor separately. It would be great if there were a little more consistency, even though every professor has a different way of presenting material or a different style of teaching, if they at least use the same tools the same way, the students would have a better understanding of what to expect. Also, I'd recommend that some of the classes be offered more online, especially because there are people in the professional world who have professional obligations that prevent them from getting to class or who have travel concerns about being able to make it on time. But if you're interested in the MBA, 
I'd recommend that you do it with an open mind, enjoy everything that you learn, participate fully, and come out of it knowing that you've really improved some of those skills that will make you a better manager and a better business person in the future.